talk about this particular question. Explain the mechanisms involved in the ventilation of the lungs. I love this question because it's just so simple to get full marks for this, even though it's an eight mark long question. And you just need to know about the two mechanisms or the two different parts of ventilation. So you need to know about inspiration and you need to know about expiration. And that will essentially divide your answer into two types. I'm into two parts, inspiration and expiration. Let's talk about inspiration first. So what happens with inspiration? Let's just draw this over here. So we've got our rib cage here with our diaphragm at the bottom. Inspiration, diaphragm will contract. External intercostal muscles will contract. And then the internal intercostal muscles, they'll just stay there. Um, also, you will have, um, so what will happen? So the pressure, uh, the pressure will become lower and then the air will rush in. So that is one, two, three, four, five points already. And then all you need to do for the, for the second part is do exactly the opposite. So I'm gonna write this out all now, but I can probably do this very quickly and um, you'll be able to easily be able to get 10 marks. So let's do the first thing. So, um, so let's label it inspiration. External intercostals contract, internal intercostals relax, diaphragm contracts, intrathoracic pressure, so that's the pressure inside the lungs. decreases and air rushes in. Good. That's five marks already just for inspiration. And now the next time we do is expiration. It's exactly the opposite. So in expiration what will happen? So then the external intercostal muscles will relax. The internal intercostal muscles will pull out. Um, the diaphragm will relax as well air pressure will increase and if pressure increases then it pushes the air out They contract, diaphragm relaxes, what happens to the pressure now? Intrathoracic pressure increases, and air rushes out. That's all it is, one, two, three, four, five. So if you add them all up, 10 marks, we'll easily get our eight marks that we require. Very simple question, just remember to draw that diagram, remember the five different points, you'll do well. Good. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out, just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions, as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a seven in high level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right hand corner. Thanks.